Um, what is working really well is the fact that somehow I've managed to compartmentalize many facets of my very complex, not that I'm the only one that has a complex uh, life and business situation, but I kind of do right now. Mm -hmm. um, so as a physical therapist, Pilates teacher, I had a brick and mortar that had to kind of go on hold living in the Bay Area of California. You know, we had really strict, um, you know, COVID uh, closures, which was fine because I was able to whoop right into um, creating the membership site, which. Uh... Welcome to another episode of Open for Business with PBK. Candid, truthful entrepreneur stories, stories of success, stories about failure, our entrepreneur ideas from people that have been and are right where you are. You see, we're all entrepreneurs from all corners of the world, across all ages and backgrounds. And yes, we have obnoxiously big dreams just like you. Today, I am really thrilled to introduce you to a good friend and longtime PBK member, Ada Wells. Ada is located in California, but you are going to hear and see her today from her Puerto Vallarta home, which is her, the vacation home that she and her husband have um, as part of their entrepreneurial lifestyle. And when Ada is in California, she owns and operates the Pro Balance Pilates and Physical Therapy Studio, which is in Alameda. Now, in addition to the successful bricks and mortar business that Ada has had for many years, you will hear her share with you how as soon as the pandemic went into full force, she quit simply dipping her toes into the online business realm and went in full throttle. And as a result of that, she founded the Be Well, Stay Well online program. And it is a live online program that's geared towards people who are looking for high quality interactive Pilates and wellness classes that are taught by movement and rehab professionals that are among her Be Well, Stay Well global network of providers. So please enjoy listening to Ada share her open for business story with you. Ada, I am so glad that we get to chat today and cannot wait for you to share with everyone a bit of what is just working really well in your business and in life for you right now. Well, um, what is working really well is the fact that somehow I've managed to compartmentalize many facets of my very complex, not that I'm the only one that has a complex uh, life and business situation, but I kind of do right now. Mm -hmm. um, so as a physical therapist, Pilates teacher, I had a brick and mortar that had to kind of go on hold living in the Bay Area of California. You know, we had really strict, um, you know, COVID uh, closures, which was fine because I was able to whoop right into um, creating the membership site, which uh, took me a little bit in terms of um, finally pulling out Kajabi, which had been sitting there all dusty. And the good news is it was so easy. It was in one month. Um, I had it fully on there um, in the way shape you see it now. Um, it was it was that quick. Everything has been small tweaks. So that has been great. Um, the brick and mortar, now that we're opening up again, brick and mortar is coming back. And I have actually loved what I've been doing on Kajabi so much and where my business has actually, um, on my online site, be well, stay well, that has actually progressed to a point to where I've changed the model a little bit. It's becoming a little bit of a net, a subscription with the, with the pre, kind of an Amazon prime. I don't want to, you know, yeah. well, to use an example with the, you can also get these ones if you pay a little extra. Um, type of thing. So I have upgraded to the um, to the big pro version. And so now I'm wanting to get my brick and mortar site actually over. And that ties into another arm of my business, which is teacher training for Pilates teachers. And, um, and that I had on another platform, which was really, um, it worked okay at the time, but really chunky. 
I'm planning on bringing that over so it all turns out nice and clean. And that's at least the business side. Um, and from the personal side, uh, what's working is the fact that, you know how you always plan, you, you want to plan for the end in mind and then reverse engineer it. So um, our end plan is to be able to live in, in Mexico of at least half the year and go back and forth. Uh, once again, COVID kind of put a little wrinkle in that. We do have a house in Puerto Vallarta, which I am sitting in right now as we speak. Um, so awesome. I, I have taking a break from um, caregiving for my mother-in-law, which has been living within our, in our house for the last 17 months, um, hardcore dementia, cancer, all of that hospice. Um, so, so needless to say, um, and yeah, and a mom and all that. But what is working for me is that actually Kajabi has been making it really, really easy for me and, and what you have on this on this site. Um, and I, like I haven't been as participatory in the membership meetings lately, not to say that I do not look at and read every single message that comes through, taking <laughs> note of what things I'm going to go back to. Um, because I've, I've really just gotten a huge amount of value when I really needed to make it work in that uh, kind of sort of three months of like, all right, let me really get this thing on um, as I need it. So, and like I said, we can go on, we can, we can, we can further delve into where it's evolved from where it started. Yes, I mean, if anyone took COVID by storm last March and April, you win the gold medal because to go from bricks and mortar to, I like to tell people, um, or the, photographer that I had worked with, John D'Amato, I said, oh, you're pivoting. He's like, no, I'm not pivoting because that means I'm turning away from everything I did before. Some people did. He said, I'm learning how to expand in this time of contraction. And I said, that's, ex yes, that's exactly what it is. And that's exactly what I watched you do was, okay, that's not even an option anymore. All righty, turn it on, open it up. You, I mean, you were a phenomenal example of oh, can't do this anymore gotta just jump over here and turn things on and keep it moving and it was incredible to watch I mean well and I think the the times actually um I've always wanted to do something online within my business um but the 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 limiting factor was the big objection was because my target audience tends to be um, kind of a more mature age, uh, kind of Gen X and up, um, you know, that is, that's an audience that was a little bit resistant to being online. And in addition to so multiple audiences, right? So that's my end client patient that mm -hmm. I might get. But I also had the audience of people who were Pilates, who wanted to become Pilates teacher trainers, which that in and of itself is kind of like the, ooh, that, you know, a lot of technophobes in that, in that space. Mm -hmm. And, and once again, this is where I, you know, this, this pandemic kind of made them realize that you can't avoid tech, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of them still, you know, kind of doing things the hard way. And I'm like, you know what, let me just help fast track you in the meantime, while you're getting your stuff going. Um, still, you can still be being a present because a lot of them are just giving away. They're just teaching classes on Instagram and just giving it away. And I'm like, okay, I understand there is a time for free, but, mm -hmm. but you got to have a strategy behind what that free is. And they, they, they weren't because they were just putting it out there. And, um, and, and so what I was trying to say is, hey, you guys, there is a way we can do this. We have a whole community here. Let me help be a channel to do that. Come be a guest contributor on my, um, on my platform. And so like what you really helped me with and what I didn't realize I was going to do when I initially set out to do this was creating a, a model that actually is an affiliate, uh, has, is an affiliate model to be able to give these teachers a way not only to say, hey, all I am asking for is your time. I'm not paying mm -hmm. you because you're an affiliate. There's all these weird independent contractor and employee laws in California, so I can't just yeah. make you an employee. However, you could be an affiliate, and if you help to bring people in, that's going to support you. It's also going to, if you already have something going on, or you have a special niche, it allows me to say, hey, here's a really great person that's in the middle of Kansas or wherever in the UK mm -hmm. or wherever they might be in the world. Um, you should check out what they've got going on. So it allows them already to have a market of people that said, yes, I raised my hand. I am good with doing online Pilates and movement. 
Um, and so now they've got a warm audience that they can teach to mm-hmm. for free. Um, but at the same time, it's like, and I've given them, you know, full reins of, of how they want to do that. And I'm really trying to help strategically talk to everybody so that they understand kind of how it can work. Um, and as we start moving out of COVID, those technophobes are like, yeah, I'm, I'm done with being on Zoom, but they still have now their people that really enjoyed it. So where can they take them? Where can they give them a resource? And so as this whole experience has given me the opportunity to, um, you know, to, to, like I said, really expand upon what I was doing before in a way I wasn't expecting, but because of, once again, guidance from you, once again, from both the legal, the technical, <laughs> the strategic sides, which I needed all of those to help guide where I was going to go. Um, <laughs> because of the complexity of what it could potentially be. It could have been a mess. It's really quite simple. And for me to be able to kind of keep all of my, my balls you know, in the air, um, you know, I drop one every so often, but, but, but considering what I, you know, what I have that I'm juggling, um, it's, it's actually working out pretty, pretty darn good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. And it's, I love how you saw the opportunity to see in others what they couldn't even see, where you were like, hey, you can't make an income right now. I have a way that I can help you make an income. You can connect with people. You can do all this stuff. Like that ability is, it's amazing. And it's also so admirable because you were helping people. I mean, you were helping them in a way that pays dividends for years and years to come. Well, I already know that's my superpower. Uh, I tell people from a technical standpoint, there is a lot of physical therapists or Pilates teachers that are better. They can technically do things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, those skill sets are, are great. But what I'm really good at is seeing what you're able to do and mm-hmm. kind of saying, all right, given where you're at and given what I know, I know you can do this. And, and that's been really, really fun like I said, to both the Pilates teachers and the actual clients that, you know, didn't realize that they can get this strong doing Matt Pilates. And I'm like, Matt Pilates is a whole lot harder than doing it on equipment. And um, yeah, and they love it. They, they really love it. And it's become this connection, um, not only between our, um, you know, the members, but just in terms of connecting the community. Um, of movement practitioners. And, and once again, it's just this whole, there's just layer upon layer of all these things that were kind of the unintended positive consequences of, um, of doing this. And, um, and it's, it's, really, it's, it's really been quite amazing. And I'm, what I'm excited about, what I'm excited about kind of moving forward, because I don't stop thinking, I'm definitely a, an ideas gal that kind of, once again, squirrels at a rave was my brain, not ducks in a row. Um, and so the thing is, is that, you know, we still need the human connection. You still can't, you know, especially for the type of work that I, you know, I do and, 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 you know, I like to share. And so this brings, it brings me back to Mexico, brings me back to Mexico. And, uh, you know, usually in the background, you'll see on my zoom, there's typically, and you know, this, I usually have this, this kind of uh, backdrop, my virtual backdrop of somewhere in Puerto Vallarta that there's a villa that's like down the street. That's beautiful. And I'm like, Oh, here we are today. You know, there's even glass of wine on the, you know, on the, on the, on the table in this virtual yeah. background. And the thing is, is that it's bringing people then back to being able to do something as an in-person retreat experience and bringing this live, bringing this thing that we've been doing online into a live format, um, because the connections have happened already in there, and and people want to, they're they're going to be yearning for that. So when we are in a post-COVID world, um, I'm kind of going to be ready for it. And what's great is that once again, I can actually have that as a product in Kajabi and and it's like all there so I think that's the other thing is that I have like I said all of my my studio in-person stuff I have you know I've got my software and stuff in my office that it's all connected and I do everything there but this I can really track how is everything going here and so it makes it really easy because it's like I do have two completely separate businesses that do actually really complement each other um, but it, it makes it very easy for me to, to, you know, 
help. <laughs> Maybe it makes it a little easier for my accountant, <laughs> let's just say. Because yeah, it's not for me, I hate accountants. Keep the accountants happy. Keep the accountants <laughs> and the lawyers happy. And lawyers, like, right, right, right. <laughs> keep those two people happy and by all means, go take over the world. Just keep those two people happy. All is good. In it, right. I mean, the cool part is, I mean, you know, I love seeing you down in Mexico and I love that, you know, you're doing it already and it's like, okay, yep, in bits and pieces and knowing that, yes, it's COVID, yes, there's all this stuff that happened, but you still were able to expand and were able to have the time and go do what needed to be done and see things that you didn't even see. Like I said, when you started, you're like, oh, I didn't even see this whole other layer I think is phenomenal because yes, when we can get back to being in person, like they don't think, can't wait to be on a patio. Don't know what the patio will look like just yet. One of those, one of those screensavers. One of those pretty ones. One of those, like we're going to be on the patio going, can you remember when? Like so forever ago, because I mean, we're going on six years that we've known each other mm-hmm. through a computer screen, which is right ridiculous to me. Like it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. So it's, I'm, yeah, well, it's, it, it's going to be, I mean, I, I really, I think what's been really great with this is, um, and what's been seamless through this whole process is once again, being able to, yes, I had, I have been dabbling in this stuff for six years. Um, you know, about the time I met you was my very first, um, online yeah. course, course about coffee, um with uh you know and and that was uh you know so I but once again there's such a difference between dabbling and doing and um and so and I was doing and like I said I've done this with with you know I did sign up ultimately and doing programs that involved kind of more next level masterminds with um some pretty decent names but There is a level of, of, I want to remind people that you don't have to be the big name and you don't have to go with the big name to get results. And so I had the big name so I could sort of see all that. And I got a huge amount of value and that was great. And that actually helped to kind of, that gave me some, you know, some background, but really you, um, and working with, um, with your program, I I don't even, I don't even open their emails anymore. Um, you know, I have all the things I don't open the emails. I never get into the portal. It is PBK that I'm all about. And the reason why is because it is once again, still this community, this very intimate, there's different, you know, you have different people at different places, but depending on what different elements that maybe want you, somebody wants to emphasize you, mm-hmm. it's still always keeping it small because not everybody is going to want to jump into doing this or that. Um, and, and, you know, and just appreciative of the, the things that like, oh, this tool I didn't even know existed and, oh my God, that's game changer. I love how this person, you know, and, and, and just seeing those things and then being able to extrapolate back of how I could utilize, you know, that little tool, um, in my current model to even to streamline things even more, because that's the thing. It's like the less I have to do, the less I have to repeat, you know, the better. Well, I, mean, I can still remember, you know, you saying, I think I have an affiliate model here. Like, I think I kind of am going this route. And it was like, okay, let's, let's spend the next month. Let's have an affiliate intensive. Let's talk it through so that it would be seamless and easy to manage. And like, okay, yeah, it can be this massive thing, but it doesn't have to be a massive mess of a thing or even just intense in terms of managing it. And and, and I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from that affiliate model. And, and I've learned about the, my audience of affiliates of mm-hmm. really how I actually, I need, so this goes back to how I had to sort of tweak my business a little bit to the Netflix style or mm-hmm. the Amazon Prime style or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> because um, of where they, I had to meet them to where they were at. And yeah. so where, where that group is of the Pilates teachers and the movement, whatever, they're not at a place where they want to share their audience because they're in survival mode. They're in survival mode. They're like, no, no, no. Why do I want to? I'm like, they're like, I charge per class, which you charge for an entire month's membership for, you know, 
the same type of thing. Um, why would I want to send them over there? So this is where um, kind of saying, well, why don't you create a product for me? And, and, and hey, and you can fish off of my be well, stay well, you know, audience. Mm -hmm. um, you've, you've already proved yourself in here. They yeah. love you. Um, have a product. And you basically, and so what I did is I created templates of, I, I created a template product. I created a template um, sales page. Mm -hmm. And kind of, an, and I said, here's the examples of who's up right now. I'm like, and, you know, and this is what I need from you. Here's a Dropbox, put it in there. And then we'll just, we'll, we'll put it in there together. And, um, and so that has really appealed to that affiliate group. Yeah. I have another type of affiliate that they're, once again, they're like, you know what, Ada, I love what you're doing. I want to get my people in there. I do have a product. I would like to do, but I'm going to bring my people from my clinic or, you know, this happens to be a physical therapist mm -hmm. uh, into like, like they've never taught and be well, stay well. So the be well, stay well people would be, they wouldn't have any idea who this person is. So they probably wouldn't buy their product. However, right. she's got all her people and her intent is to actually utilize her product to come in. And, um, and then, and then inside her product is a Please, you know, want to join Be Well, Stay Well to support mm -hmm. Bettina, click here, you know, to, so that way they know to be able to support the person whose yeah. product they really like coming out of it. So I've created it in a way that 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 actually gives the affiliate multiple ways of being able mm -hmm. to utilize um, the platform I've created um, mm -hmm. from the Kajabi platform and being able to kind of, you know, move forward. Yeah. And you're you're so wise in knowing that it's a model. It's not just, hey, here's a link. And then I toss them off to the side that it really mm -hmm. is. It's a business model. It's a, I'm nurturing, I'm paying attention to, oh, oh, okay. What I thought those affiliates might do. Okay. Like you said, they're in survival mode. Let's take this in another way. It's so much more than just, oh, here's your link, share it. And I'll, you know, log in at the end of the month and see if I owe you anything. Mm -hmm. That's not how you've, I mean, you've treated it with such respect that again, that will pay dividends for years and years to come. Yeah. I think the important thing is, it's the trust, right? And, um, and they trust me. They, mm -hmm. they, they trust me with, um, you know, that I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not someone that's going to come in and take advantage of them. You know, um, I've, I've, I proved to them right off the bat that, you know, I'm here to help you. You know, when they hear that right off the bat, when I, you know, I sent out an email like, hey, here's what we got going on and I'm already promoting them or, you know, I'm promoting, I tell them, I'm like, shamelessly plug whatever you have going on at the end of the class that you teach, yeah. you know? And so what that's done for me, going back to the, how it melds with my brick and mortar is that, yes, I, I teach some classes and yes, some of my own employees teach some classes, but honestly, the majority of classes that are being taught are being taught by guest contributors that I are not on my payroll, right? But the, they're on my affiliate, you know, payroll, but not on my employee payroll. Right. And, um, and so as I'm now converting, as we're going back into more in-person Mm -hmm. um, in my own studio. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, oh, Ada, I'm going to have to take away this class. And I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> Cause I, I can fill it. Um, yeah. I don't have a shortage of people that, um, you know, my, my limitation of classes that I offer are limited by the members the number of members. Um, because obviously you don't want to have like, you know, all of these classes and two people come to class. Right. Um, there's, there's a strategy behind, you know, where you put that, but um, you know, and, and, and also knowing it's like, oh yeah, there's, there's markets I'd like to get to, um, in Australia and different places, but at the same time, it's like, okay, I have to be mindful of uh, what time is that here? And, you know, and, and making sure that, uh, you know, I, I, that I can support them and that we have an audience for them, um, as they're bringing their people in. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. It will continue to be that way. Um, but I just, once again, I just want to thank you so much for kind of being there, being there when it really counted. Uh, because that's, that's truly, like I said, you are, you are the moment. You're my, you're my pivot point. So the pivot point was COVID. And the pivot point at that point was it's time for PBK. It's time for me, this, this membership I've been paying for for however many years. I'm finally now going to use it. I knew I would, I knew it was in my back you pocket did. and I knew I loved you. And I was just like, now we're ready to go. <laughs> well, 
right time, right place, it all, it all does fall into place. As long as you're, you're surrounding yourself with the right people, you know, it's that intentional piece, which you find the good ones. And you're like, I know, I know you're a good one. I'm staying, I'm good right here. All is good. What would you like to leave our listeners with today? Um, I think it's, it's, you know, I, I think I kind of mentioned earlier, um, while it's good to, um, to learn and to, to go into a situation or go into a new project with information, uh, don't spend so much time being a student that you don't end up, um, you know, actually doing, doing Mm -hmm. the thing. Um, that is, you, you got to kind of jump in and, and once again, things are going to come at you that you were not expecting Mm -hmm. and pay attention to that. And you don't think, oh, that's happening that way. So therefore I know I have to ram something else through. You take that information and you go, that's an opportunity that I didn't think about. And you look at how you can evolve Mm -hmm. that opportunity. So, um, so, so, and, and it's, it's kind of funny because I'm going to, I'm going to go back to when I first, my first online program was an online golf program designed for golfers and, um, very niche, you know, following all the rules, this niche thing, I've got expertise in it and da, 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 da. And it was an uphill climb trying to, um, target golfers. The funny thing is, as you know, and I kind of thought I was done with them because I realized that after trying to launch thing and I'm like, once again, it was the Pilates teachers wanting to learn how to work with the golfers. That was who was wanting it. But interestingly, I have circled back to the golfers in another way. And I'll tell you one last way that I'm using, uh, uh, that I'm using Be Well, Stay Well and and Kajabi and all of this stuff is I had um, a colleague from Kansas who says, Ada, I have like about a dozen or so golfers, actual golfers that I want to do a workshop for. I said, no problem. And so we did it inside of Be Well, Stay Well. Once again, put her affiliate link inside the product. That's where the recording, that's where they had to go in. They had to go into the portal to actually click on the thing like, here's your live class now. And then they could also see that there was, the, hey, here's your bonus warm-ups, your bonus golf warm-ups. You get this stuff for a week, but actually you can get it for longer if you join with her link. And so it's back to the original group, but it's just utilizing it in a different way. So I think just be open to, to the possibility um, and, and you know, don't shut a door that actually might be presenting itself. So incredibly wise. And I cannot say thank you enough because I love how our worlds have blended themselves together. They keep blending. And 20 years from now, we'll be like, oh my gosh, remember when we had just gone into a pandemic and out of the pandemic and all of that. So thank you so, so much for taking time, even while in Puerto Vallarta to um, chat. It was really fun. Yeah, well, thanks for having me and thank you for all that you've helped me with. My truest, truest pleasure.